there are just so many accusations uh, against Diddy right now. Um, some seemingly, I mean, most, I would say, honestly, seemingly be fairly legit. Uh, and others uh, just kind of coming to the party, and we're just learning about so much bad behavior outside of the sexual assault allegations that we've heard so much of. One of those things that has been uh, coming to the surface quite recently is the death of Kim Porter. Uh, that was his uh, longtime girlfriend, the mother of some of his kids. Um, she died uh, ways back uh, in 2018, I believe, um, when when she passed away. The autopsy uh, showed it was uh, some sort of like a flu-like symptom that she had, um, and it was never really uh, you know looked into much further. Further, there was though an autopsy that did. Uh, in fact, take place. There's now a book that is coming out um, that's claiming to be the secret memoir of Kim Porter. The first thing we heard from the uh, Diddy clan, including his kids, that this is all fake. This is all fake. It's only apparently like 60 pages that she had allegedly written down. And I can see where the path of this piece may be a little questionable uh, if it is legit or not. Um, but it does continue to paint a picture of a possibility uh, of, of the madness that, that he was exhibiting with her in his daily life. Yeah, it sure makes sense to look at it closely. Um, and whether what's in the book or not actually, you know, captures it well, we don't know at this point. And is somebody profiteering off that? That would be unfortunate. But I think everything, everyone this guy has touched and everything he's done in life should be looked at. Because, yeah. I, I mean, if there's this many victims, how many more are there who will never talk because yeah. of the shame that they feel? So, I mean, is there a risk right now with, I mean, everybody, I mean, everywhere you look, there's a new accusation. And everybody right now seems to be piling on this uh, whoever had interaction with Diddy at some point in time or mentioned the party or did anything they're trying to connect it uh, to to his very you know dark world and lebron james once said there's nothing like a diddy party uh ellen degeneres has said something about you know i want you to come to my party uh she's apparently been to some of the parties um there's there's just accusations everywhere but there's lots and lots of people who went to diddy parties um is it are we casting too wide of a net right now uh, just as a society that's observing this case, kind of almost somewhat incriminating anybody that may have been around this man. But there's been a lot of people around this man. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just my personal opinion, we're kind of distorted in this country with the idea of celebrity. Yeah. And that anybody who earns money, you know, and has a big ego that we should celebrate them in some way or want to go to their parties. And so I think it's, it's a good thing to kind of poke at that a little bit and say, you know what, character matters and integrity matters and the kind of person that you are, the way you treat other people, that's all relevant. And if you suck up to a psychopath, it does say something about you. And so maybe people would do well to stop and reflect about that. Yeah, I mean, are we going to see an, an undoing? I mean, it'd be, it'd be pretty incredible if we did. Um, but are we going to see an undoing of our our obsession with celebrity culture in, in our country as more and more of these, you know, these heroes that we've celebrated all these years, the, the mask has been coming off. I mean, it's been coming off for years beyond just Diddy, obviously. It was Cosby. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, Political R, figures, yeah, sports Kelly, figures. Yeah. I mean, it goes on mm -hmm. and on. It, it, there's just yeah. so many people where if you had said to us in the 1980s, guess what's going to be coming out of the news 20 years from now? I think everybody would be like, nah, that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so much of this stuff was going on right underneath our noses. Exactly. And and people tend to look at the wealth and the power. And, you know, they're not always even terribly talented people. It's a lot of PR. Yeah. And I, I think it's really good for everybody to stop and think about celebrity worship. And, and it is. It's America. You know, yeah. it's it's people market themselves and sometimes they market themselves really effectively and they're really terrible people. 
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.